Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're complete trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here from the Rubber Room at Gas Digital Studios. And speaking of crazy, how about that deal? Promo code AYG, <laughs> sign up today, save $1.50 on the subscription and a 14-day free trial. My co-host, coming at you right next to me, my good pal, he's the brains behind the operation. Let me tell you something, folks. The next time you reach for a best pal, do yourself a favor. Make it a kippy. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. What's up, everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy to be here. A uh, little bit of housekeeping. Um, shout out to everybody who's been rating, reviewing, subscribing on iTunes. We appreciate it. We're still in the top 200. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, if you haven't already, please go rate, review, subscribe, tell a fucking friend. Let's get this thing fucking cooking. I hear you, Kippy. I hear you, and I like it, and I love it, and I love our very special guest that we have in studio today. Highly demanded guest here. Oh, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, he is uh, an actor, a writer, director, and of course a podcaster. Some of his latest films, Shakespeare Shitstorm. Bucket Love Anonymous, all available on Disney Plus, I believe. <laughs> You've also seen him in Impractical Jokers. All right. He's the co host of Real Ass, Real Ass Podcast. And of course, Zach Amico's Midnight Spook Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the big question in everybody's mind today is he garbage? I say a hard no, and I've structured my questions to prove my fucking case. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only. Mr. Sakamiko, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, gentlemen. A big okay. fan of the show, and I'm excited to be here. Thank big you. Big fan of you, buddy. We are very happy to have you here. Well, we we have played this mildly with Zach yeah. previously yes. on Real Ass Podcast. Yes. And we were shocked. Stunned. Shocked. Out Stunned. At, at the results <laughs> to the line of questioning set forth at a previous date. There is a dichotomy here. That now, is... You have to remember, yes, I would appear trashy, <laughs> but... Consider the people I present myself with. Sure, of course. <laughs> My yeah, I don't know. You're a fucking. I don't know how to place it because NYU educated. NYU. Did you graduate? Yeah. <sighs> NYU. Grad. Art school though, not real school. Doesn't matter. Foley can't even walk by NYU. You got the dorm. That's all it counts with me. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a Did you have a card to get into the cafeteria? You're a college man, as far as I'm concerned. On paper. Not only card to get into the cafeteria. At the time, card to get into the only Chick-fil-A in New York City. Ooh, there what? was a secret Chick-fil-A at the time in one of the NYU caf cafeterias. Oh, that's really And that's trash. before, <laughs> fully, that's before we knew they hated gays. <laughs> I'm sure it's gone now. Yeah. Foley, you didn't get that in Fat Guy Quarterly? <laughs> yeah. that there was a secret, a secret Chick-fil-A. That's why I went. Why now? <laughs> I turned down Harvard. <laughs> Mom, go to NYU. <laughs> you hear they got a secret Chick-fil-A in a basement. Uh, did you ever go back and use the card to get into the cafeteria after you graduated, though? Never. Not That's once. a real scumbag move. Oh, yeah. I think they shut that down for a little bit. I see Kevin Ryan's awfully quiet over there. <laughs> I was going to no. say, you know, you know what? You were I think Thanksgiving dinner, probably. In that fucking I think joint. with the computer chips now that the cards have, or I think they expire. Like, sure. the oh, day yeah. They done. get you. Now, when did you graduate? How? 2009. 2009. How old of a uh, young man are you? He's my age. Um, yeah, I'm 32. Yeah. Uh, Oh, the plot thickens. But it's also like Jersey, so that's a couple points down. Yes. <laughs> I mean, by the looks of you, aesthetically, you're fucking 100% trash. Yes, 100%. Well, I'm not opening a checking account with you, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm asking for the next teller, if that's what we're getting at. But, very educated, very smart, knows a lot, knows a lot I can, about I feel film. like you're very smart. What'd you get on I your SATs? Right. Uh, that's when it, when I took them, it was still six, out of 1,600. Out of 16, what'd you get? 1,410. Woo! What?! Holy shit! God. Start calling you sir. Oh, God damn! That's got to be a record for all you garbage. <laughs> if you added up all the guest <laughs> test scores, they wouldn't equal fourteen hundred. Yeah, you're a smart guy. All, all right. right, so tell us the tell us. I the, test well. 
I think there's a That's difference. also a very uh, garbage thing, too. I test well. I test well. well. I can't read, but I test well. I can bullshit my way through a lot of stuff. Sure. That, and he's an auditory learner, because I was an auditory learner. My mom used to say that all the time to, like, cover up why I was flunking everything. Well, he's actually an auditory learner. Yeah, he's actually... No, he's not. He's a fucking idiot. What are you talking about? He's schmishmarted. <laughs> he's a moron. But give us the origin story here, because I don't know. Where did you grow up? How did you grow up? Give me the whole thing. Okay, uh, Seacoggers, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, Dad is a welder. Uh, Blue we collar family. I lived in an apartment on top of his shop. And it was my grandpa's business that he took over. Okay, did Whoa. you own the real estate of the shop? Was like the, the, yeah, it was, it was the, that's my dad's building. That's not too bad. That's a smart move. If you own the shop, you stay up. You ain't got to pay rent, <laughs> yeah. only one mortgage. Probably sp- p- p- pay some of the utility and bills off on the shop. When you're a single guy, maybe, but not with the family. What do you mean? He's getting into the welding products and shit like that. Who knows what's <laughs> going on? Uh, my dad grew up in that house. It was a one-bedroom and it was my grandma, grandpa, my dad, and his four brothers. Jeez. Is it like in town? Or because when I think of like getting any welding done, it's not like in like a neighborhood. No, yeah, no, it's, it's in the middle of a neighborhood. What? Like it was a, a city small... type neighborhood, not like a suburban. No, suburban neighborhood. But like a wow. like a like a main street suburban neighborhood, or like off of a main street. Off of a main okay. street. Yeah. Um, yeah. Still, that's shop. interesting. Uh, not too big. Uh, he did marine welding. A lot of like uh, he either did. Wait, hold on. He did marine welding? Yeah, a lot of water oh, shit. So he's not some fucking grease monkey working on an old Ford. That's that's intelligent shit right he there. He did a lot of battleships. Is that he underwater? Did a, a lot of water shit, yeah. <laughs> Is he like Cuba Gooding Jr. in that movie? <laughs> Give me ten steps! <laughs> Soldier! <laughs> a lot of like uh, pad eyes for uh, docks so that boats don't crash into the docks. Yeah, oh. that's special. He probably made a good living off of that. Yeah, yeah. And then my dad's favorite thing is when whenever we drive around anywhere in Jersey is to point out either him or my grandpa did the railings. Everywhere. Oh, that's big. Oh, my dad that's did that real too. Trashy, though. That's real trashy. That's great. Dude, we you see those railings? By... I can't fucking drive through Philly with this guy. Like, yeah, we did the AC Dude, over my, there. That's in me. That's just blue collar garbage. <laughs> fucking American pickers <laughs> driving around. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> how much? How much you want for the Ford in the front? yard my dad would drive by like yeah it was all supermarkets and like hospital mm-hmm. we put a you know 10 foot cooling stack on the top of that over there i'm like oh yeah he cool. goes in there he tries to act like he's got clout you know what i mean <laughs> you know put the heat in his dump holy shit man working on battleships so that's government contracts yeah he still does it now what's wow. your mom do uh, my mom was an art teacher at a Catholic school when I was little. See? See? That's you guys good. don't fucking know. Look at this right here. But uh, you don't really have to have any accreditation. <laughs> sure. To a couple either. of crayons and some paper. Yeah, pretty much just, paper. Like, my mom didn't Call go to college. She was kind of just flannels. Flannels. a lady. <laughs> yeah. She's, yeah. She's just a woman. <laughs> Still. And that That's that sharp. And Wait. So from what I'm hearing, there, was that the only property or only house you guys had? Yeah, there was, was no summer property no, anywhere. No, no. Well, your old man must be stacking cash away. I think he did okay. Yeah. I mean, he's bl- he, he's, he's on uh, I th- wife number, I'm not sure, but major relationship number. Here, quite oh, a few. here we this go. This fucking guy. This explains Have you been the- lying the whole time <laughs> you've been in here, Zach? Portraying yourself? <laughs> I didn't know this. All right. How many times has he been married? Um, I think he's on. T- I don't know if he's married. I don't know if about he's currently one. married, that's garbage. You didn't get invited I, to the wedding? What the fuck? I did not get invited. I did not go to my dad's sec. Did not get invited to my dad's wow. wedding. I went to the party after. <laughs> hey, listen, it's kind of only sp- sp- close friends and family. To which I was. But you can come to given the VFW. A name, to which I was given a name tag that I had to write Paul's son on. Oh. What? My God. Holy shit. Wait, why? Because no one knew me or where who I was. Whew, this so guy's everyone quite got a fast and loose. <laughs> Wait. Holy shit. So you didn't meet. How many people are at this wedding? Mm, I wasn't there. There's a party. <laughs> at the party. Where first of all? Oh my god. Probably it could have been just regular yeah. customers mixing <laughs> yeah. in. Was, I didn't know who was there for what. It was in the break room. <laughs> uh it was about a probably about a hundred. So what happened was uh my dad left when I was like thirteen ish. Wait, left. It's his shop. Where'd he go? He sold the shop. Oh, so you moved out of there. Yeah, moved out. Okay. All right. Um this is where things get done. Yeah. This is the I fucking, had such a picture. This is the yeah. meat and potatoes. This is all right, right, how out. old were you when he moved out? You're like thirteen. Okay, so otherwise, before that, it's you, and you said you had a sister? No, just me, my mom, and dad. Just you, your mom, and your dad. Wow, all right, so up until then, it was everything was copacetic, and then one day, we're losing the shop. 
Yeah. Well, my dad's. I'm selling the shop, uh, and he got a job at a bigger fur like welding company mm-hmm. where he was going to be like one of the head, you know, uh-huh. welders. And uh, and that just happened to be around the same time they got the divorce. Yeah, crazy, right? Wasn't a stipulation in his contract. <laughs> he got to lose their family. <laughs> so uh, he lived in Seahawks for a little while. Then he moved in with his second wife. Okay. Where he lived, uh, he was a welder as well as he was the handyman for a town in upstate New York's uh, cemetery. Oh. So he lived in the cemetery. Jesus. In a house with his second wife. Who, Did they have kids? No. Did you go up there and see him? Were you like living back and forth? No. Uh, I met her like, if I met her five times, that's wow. probably an exaggeration. Damn. You never went up and hung out at the cemetery because that's where I figured you get the, no. you know, that the horror. Right, that seems right in your wheelhouse. No, yeah. He got a little <laughs> Jesus-y with wife number two. What's that? He got a little Jesus-y with wife number two. Gosh, That's yeah. the worst when they get Jesus-y. Because uh, it came with the whole funeral, like like the cemetery, but they, the church was there too. Oh, maybe he was and just he doing was like, it to keep the job. And he was like a little, he was kind of like the town Gomer pile. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he got a little Jesus-y, but then he broke that. Huh. <laughs> there was another one in between that I don't talk about. Jesus Christ. For legal I, purposes. <laughs> yeah, there's still, <laughs> Sounds like she's buried in an unmarked grave there's in still the a cemetery. Gag order. There's yeah, another one. There's a whole other thing. York. There's a whole other thing that I'm talking that I don't know what, what I can say, so I don't want to get sure, into it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Cut the tape. <laughs> and now he's got uh, number three that he lives with, and she's got two kids. Okay. But you grew up with your mom. Yeah. Okay. Did your was... mom get remarried at all? No. Really? So no, where did she... you guys move to? Just another- No, nope, like... stayed in the house. My, my mom got the house. Ooh. Wait, so did under... Ernie. Wait a minute. What'd you do with the with the shop underneath? Uh, first, it was a um, like an accessory shop where they made um, really? headbands and shit, and now it is a karate studio. <laughs> <laughs> Should go back flex. Does your mom still lessons? own it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ah, all right. Very Passive nice. income, she, not she the She's Miko. That yeah. divorce worked she, out. She rents out the uh, shop, and she still lives on the top half. Holy shit. That's pretty good. That's got it. So did you have friends in the neighborhood and shit like that? Very few. I'd imagine so. I was an indoor boy. A couple junkyard dogs. Indoor boy. Wow. And uh, yeah, so my dad was uh, sober for a few years before he got married. Uh Uh-huh. The first thing my mom did when they got divorced was get her bartending license. Jeez. And became a bartender. Became his bartender? No, just became oh, a bartender. bartender. Okay, okay. And it was, it was, was, it was, like, it was literally- fucking two-faced. It was literally a spike career. Yeah. Wow. Damn. And to this day, my mom's a bartender and a hostess at uh, Olive Garden. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wait, what happened to the teaching job? That was only for a few years when I was a kid. Whew. I'm sorry. I have to put that one in the file. That's a- Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Yeah. Did you go there and hang out with her while she was working sometimes? No, nah, I was older by that point. I was like 14, 15. Did you go in and have a bite every once in a while? Endless breadsticks. No. Don't what? lie to me, Zach. No. She ah. brought it home a lot. Ooh. But I later found out she only got like 20% off. Like, it was not worth taking sure. it home. <laughs> sure. It, it was literally she makes, just- She I'm, makes 100, owes 300 at yeah. the end of the night. <laughs> It was not worth the discount. I'm trying to keep the kid in primavera. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh. So what would you say the childhood was like growing up? Good middle class. Yeah? Yeah. Do you still talk to your dad? Oh, yeah. I, uh, me and my dad didn't talk probably for about two years when I was in like high school. Mm-hmm. And then we wound up getting along again real good and real close. Hmm. And didn't they, are you not close with his current wife? Or? They're nice people. Um, I've that's, met. That's a way to put it yeah, with family members. That's, that's they're nice, they're nice people. Good, they're nice. I give them the nod in the hallway. Hey, what's up? Like the other day, my wife said to me something about, like, how's your stepbrother? And I was like, I've never called him that. Who's your stepbrother? Uh, my some douche named Jim. <laughs> yeah, my dad. My dad's chick has two kids, but not with not his kids. No, that's not your stepbrother. That's real trashy right there. That's not your stepbrother. I wouldn't call him that. Yeah, that's a stranger. That's all yeah. that is. That's, that's some guy getting in the will. That's what the fuck. Yeah, I helped that. My helped my dad move into their <laughs> house. God, your mom got the house. I helped my dad move into the house the first time they were there, and I never went again. Man, uh, now they're moving to a new house. I think it's been like five years. You can help move again. <laughs> that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be fucked up. He just called you for that. <laughs> Zach, how you doing, pal? Listen, yeah. you still got that pickup truck. You still hand- got that name tag. <laughs> get, me, get over here. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh. But you were obviously a good student. Yeah, I did all right. Yeah, right. Got into NYU. What other schools did you get into? It's the only one I applied to. Mm. I did went uh, for film and television, or yeah, I went for film and TV. I did uh, early, whatever early access. Uh, so I 
I applied in like September. Okay. Um, yeah, and I uh, got in, and then I stopped giving a shit about everything in high school. I stopped carrying a bag. I just had like a lunchbox. Once like, you got into NYU. Yeah, because I got in there. I quit every club yeah. I was in. Yeah, no shit. You just have to get out. You yeah, just got to get the degree and get I went, I'm yeah, already fucked done. fucked chess club. Yeah, I quit everything. Be at the Olive Garden. And uh, it was great. Holy shit. And never went back, obviously, after NYU. No, I would go. Uh, I, I lived at home for the summer for three years. Okay. That's In between. And I would be a, um, I worked as a janitor at my old high school. Oh, over the summers. That. Wait a minute. After you graduated? No, no. While I was in school. While you were in college. That was my summer job. Okay, but you were never there when the other students were there. No. Huh. No, it would just be summers, and they would hire a couple kids to do like handyman shit, like repaint. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not stuff. too bad. Yeah, but if you're if you're bad. fucking mopping up puke in the lunchroom and you see kids, you know that is yeah. a tough. Amico, look. is that no. you? <laughs> Thought you were at NYU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, film school really seems to be paying it out for you. Because I don't know why, but for some reason, at college, I got financial aid and I got a little bit of a grant to play football, but I, I was still- <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I the was, glory days. I he finds any, any reason to shove yeah, that in. hold on. Let's yeah. hear some tales from Poke High. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. My shoulder still hurts a little bit less. Hold can on. I, let me- uh, ah. Can I get an Advil for this knee? <laughs> um, no, but I, I took a job at the university. So like I'd be out there in the morning like raking up leaves while people were walking to class and shit with coveralls on the whole nine yards. Was real, really hurt the self esteem <laughs> yeah. with the ladies. I'm not gonna What's lie. What's up, Tina? You going to the soft pop? <laughs> Hold on, I got a fucking. You need any dog shit cleaned up? <laughs> All right. Well, that is a fucking tale, man. Let's get into some are you garbage questions here with our good pal Zach Amico. Let's start out with the basics so I can get a little bit of a picture of this town. This whole welding outfit. How was the apartment cool? Uh, it was I'd a... imagine it would have to be cool. It was a. Uh... We used to be a one bedroom that my grandfather built an addition on the back. Mm -hmm. No doors. So, my room, no door, just connected to the living room. Oh, living room, yikes. kitchen, my parents' room, and like a back room that was another bedroom slash like with video games, computers, and shit in there. Okay. With a deck on the back that my dad built. Okay. Uh, but no doors. So, I grew up my whole. Life till eighteen, I had never had a bedroom door. What was the uh... quiet jerk? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, pray to God, no one's awake. Jesus Christ! He set an alarm for like three a.m. to wake up and tug your root. Damn! And then my mom. Quiet jerk. After... <laughs> that's like military. Yeah. That's like military dad shit. Then like after take the doors off. The... Nobody closes doors in my house. After my dad left, my mom wouldn't sleep in their bed for a few years, so she slept on the couch. Outside of where my room was. Ugh. So if you want to talk tense, I, rem <laughs> <laughs> I remember a night where I had a mosquito bite. And I'm scratching this thing, and my mom came in screaming because she thought I was jerking off. I swear to God, Ma, I got, I got skeeter bites. I was like, I got a mosquito. I know you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Oh, my God. Well, you give me a little up. fucking privacy, and I can do it in yeah. peace. I thought I was talking about NY. This, you, by the skin of your balls, you got into NYU. I thought you was. I thought this guy was all class. Meanwhile, he's doing quiet jerks. What about? <laughs> all right, so give me, give me a picture of this town. What was the name of the street that you grew up on? Irving. Irving, what place? Street. Place. That's not Ooh, bad. A place is pretty classy. You live on a place? Place is all right. Place the circle, okay. just for the record, for the fans out there, uh, circle would be the highest. Court isn't too bad. Court's not bad, but that could be a fucking townhouse. You know what I mean? I'll that could be next that. to the clubhouse in the townhouse. All right, where you pick up weed and shit. If you live on a pike, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you live on fucking something pike, you've, you've made some bad real estate investments. I used to live on a way. That, it depends. Yeah, that's good. Kind of... Looking at you, I don't think it was a good one, though. <laughs> W-E-I-G-H. <laughs> a throughway. <laughs> I'm not being able to live on the service <laughs> road. That's when you know you fucking... Way too much. Get your shit together. Oh, man. What do you got? What was the name of the supermarket? Sure. You grew up going? Food Town. 
Oh, food towns are kind of tough. Food town. Food town. Sounds like a bad band in the 90s. <laughs> that's, that's where Foley wants to buy a dream house. <laughs> Moving over to food town. <laughs> Wait till I get my money right. <laughs> Headed into I'll to live on cereal way. <laughs> cereal yeah, circle. Food town, and then if we were with my grandma, uh, ShopRite in North Bergen. Ooh, ShopRites are classy. Fresh produce, quality deli. They do it nice. Nice. Their AC is always just right. Over at ShopRite. Mm-hmm. I'll tell Clean you that right carts. Now. There's never like the flyer or the circular floating around in the carts. Get out <laughs> no, of here with that shit. Oh, man, if I got to clean my own cart out, <laughs> I'm fucking going somewhere else. Listen, I I was a fucking cart boy for like fucking two years at Acme. I, you got to clean the carts. There was an Acme in the middle of Sea Caucus. Yeah, Acme's dependent on where... Acme's in the burbs are good. In the, Very. In but cities, I will say, they're tough. With, with the accent, which believe it or not, I've dropped most of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see how everyone called it the Acme. That's a Philly thing, too. Ooh. Going down to the Acme. Ooh. I'm going to the Acme. Do you want any luncheon meats? Damn. <laughs> luncheon <laughs> meats? Yeah, real trash. Luncheon meats from the Acme. The preferred is cold cuts. That's classic. No, that's I don't like that either. It's lunch meat. <laughs> lunch. Cold cuts sounds Acme, medical or something. Acme makes a hell of a roto, rotisserie chicken. I don't yeah. know if you're How do you fan, feel about Zach? the rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, Zach? I'm going to have to wager here. <laughs> fan? Uh... It's a pretty great buy. Yeah, man, you can't beat it. <laughs> it's a Where really, it's a hard pa- argument. The passion in that answer. Dude, it's think a hard about argument. it. They're birthing a chicken, raising it, killing it, cooking it, shipping it. What the fall for like five ninety nine? <laughs> in about forty five minutes, because those babies are young. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are prepubescent. Yeah, chicks. They, they don't got hair on their nuts. Those <laughs> things. Uh, have you ever worked at a supermarket? No, I've not. Oh, okay. Have you ever worked for a local production company? No. Interesting. Uh, what, what do you mean? Like in Jersey? Mm-hmm. Like doing no. weddings or anything like that? No, no. Oh, It'd be funny man. if you were at your dad's wedding because you were filming it. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was Paul's son yeah. and also the DJ? Yeah. <laughs> no, my jobs were um, janitor, movie theater, as well as uh, my uncle has a Thuman's truck. And I would do what the fuck's a Thuman's like truck? Like Boar's Head or like uh, Ooh, it's truck. a couple. It's a couple. St- he's got a route. Yeah, he's got a route. Yeah. Routes are nice. That's and, a real uh, Jersey trash. Thuman's thing, is though. pretty. Good. It's not. Bo- listen, it's, yeah, it's not Boar's Head. Not Boar's Head. Okay, few <laughs> things are, and uh, so I would work for him two days a week. But that was like four a.m. to six p.m. doing a route from like Sea Caucus to Carteret, and the motherfucker was going to the Polio plant at five a.m. The string cheese joint. And getting mozzarella curd for all the Guinea delis we went oh, to. Oh, mozzarella curd. I'm talking <laughs> pallets of curd Jeez. every fucking day. Polio's the best, too. It was not to, phenomenal. Not to, not to double down, but <laughs> you're reaching for a string cheese. Don't do yourself a disservice. I don't like string cheese. What? I never did. Ah, you're out of your mind. Are you a string cheese guy? Yeah, big. What about you, Dylan? String cheese? There you go. It's Look, unanimous. Real question. I'm not saying they're do not. Do you pull it apart or do you just take bites out of it? Well, you got wait. Uh, listen, I don't fuck with them, but you got to be a gentleman and pull it the fuck apart. If you're a savage taking a bite out of a string <laughs> cheese, you're a fucking jerk off. It'll start like that. Yeah. All right. It'll. I'll start doing the oh, nice things, but by the end, I'm just fucking nah, 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 going right through. Taking it, like, it down like a hot dog. <laughs> Fucking Kobayashi over there. <laughs> Kobay Foley. Dip, dip it in water, slide it right back. Hey, don't even take the wrapper off. You're, you open it up, dip the wrapper in water. Oh All right. Oh, my God. All right, I got a, I got one here. What was your first email address? <laughs> I think this is a fan question, too. Or your, or your... Uh, it was a family email address. Screen name. So the first email was me, my mom, and dad had one email address. Nobody loves each other <laughs> <laughs> at hotmail.com. This ain't going to last. <laughs> and it was um, our Hand first. me my blowtorch. Yeah. It was our first initials and our um, the numbers on our house. Okay. Shared an email. So you, I get the vibe you were a big computer video game guy. No? Not really. I mean. You said regular. you were an indoor kid. What were you doing in there? Some video. Yeah. Some N64 action. <laughs> Playing with his mosquito yeah. bites. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to put a couple yeah. doors up. Uh, N64. A um, lot of activities, dude. In the house? No, I mean, just I was always busy. I wrestled. I did play. Oh, okay. I always just did a ton of shit. Well, you of- said indoor kid. I, I figured you were like in there. Trying to keep the demons away, playing fucking Super Mario Brothers. You were a well-rounded guy. I was. The goal was always to get into a good school, so I always did a lot of extracurricular shit. Wow, mm. good. For, I never thought about that shit until fucking like 
the last part of my senior really? year. Really? You peg me as a guy who gets out in front of things and really, <laughs> you know, really has a fucking five year plan going. You idiot. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> you still don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, all right. Gang, real quick reminder that today's episode is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. It's the summertime, it's hot and sweaty out there, and that's why you need Sheath. Sheath is the softest, most comfortable boxer brief that I have ever worn. I have a whole fucking bag of them in the trunk, and I can't wait to get home and slip into them. I know Kippy's a big fan. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And here's what makes Sheath unique. It's got a pouch so that you can separate your dick (laughs) from your balls. All right, that is huge in the summertime, especially when you're outside working out. Because I know my fucking apparatus sticks together like an old piece of baloney. Yeah. And with Chief, you don't got to worry about that. Yeah, it's it is awesome. I got them this week in the mail, and I haven't gotten out of them. He won't stop talking about it. Now it's wild. For some of you, you don't you might not be interested in separating your fucking man parts. You should because once you realize your balls aren't on your leg, it's a fucking game changer. <laughs> I never knew I needed my balls. Off of my leg, but I do. That's clean living. But even if you're not, if that uh, if that for some odd reason that doesn't interest you, you can still wear them like regular boxer briefs, and they're crazy comfortable. They're mm. like they're smooth. They're I call them my sexy underwear. Very soft. Yeah, and they look good. If you can take, you know, if you got a special lady or man in your life, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Show them a derriere shot. Take some pics. You know what I mean. You feel good. It's good for dick pics. It's the underwear. So go to sheathunderwear.com to get a pair of smart underwear. And if you use the code GARBAGE, that's G-A-R-B-A-G-E, you'll get 20% off your order. 20? 20%, baby. So God use damn. Use code GARBAGE, G-A-R-B-A-G-E. You'll get 20% off your order. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code GARBAGE. Woo! Get that sheath underwear, everybody. All right, guys, let's take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Real Paper. Yes, please. That's Real Paper is here to make sure you never run out of toilet paper ever again. No more emergency trips to the store. You're not getting jammed up. No more random napkins, tissues. Even during the pandemic, Real has made sure that their subscribers have toilet paper. They make incredibly soft three-ply toilet paper delivered straight to your door. Not only is Real super soft and durable... It's also made entirely of sustainable bamboo. Wow. Even Reels packaging is great for the environment since they don't use any plastic wrapping. With Reel, you can pick and choose when you want to get your shipment so you'll never run out of toilet paper again. And I just got a shipment in this week. Mm -hmm. Dude, game changer. It's good stuff, huh? It's awesome. You know what's crazy? You know what's the best part about Reel? This is a pretty cool thing. Uh, For every roll of toilet paper that you buy, all right. Ooh. Every roll of toilet paper you buy, Real helps people in need across the globe have access to clean toilets. Because I didn't know this. I saw this on the, uh, on the uh, what's his name, the Microsoft guy. Gates. Yeah, on his documentary. 2.4 billion people around the world don't even have access to a safe toilet bowl. And Real wants to bring that number down to zero. Mm-hmm. And that's a pretty good company, man. That ain't These too days, shabby. That's pretty great. Doing, doing good things for the world. And you can help just by wiping your ass with real paper. You're doing it anyway. That's all you got to do. It feels fantastic. I'm not lying to you. It's a game changer. So, gang, do us a favor, okay? I want you to go over to realpaper.com. That's R-E-E-L-P-A-P-E-R.com. And if you use the code GARBAGE, G-A-R-B-A-G-E, mm-hmm. you'll get 10% off a single purchase for your first subscription order. Plus, you're going to get free shipping in the U.S. Love that money. Dude, I tell you what, man. That's a pretty solid company right there with a fantastic product. And that's realpaper.com. And use the code GARBAGE. Mm -hmm. And be sure to create an account for the code to be activated. you got to create an account. But why wouldn't you want to create an account for a great company with a great product like that? It's realpaper.com. Use promo code GARBAGE. Do some good for the world by wiping your ass. Now, it doesn't get any easier for that. I know everybody's sitting around these days wondering, how can I help out the world? How can I help out the world? You can go drop a deuce, <laughs> and you can use some fucking real paper. Do it! All right? Now, let's get back to the show. Have you ever smoked pot out of a soda can? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Have Come you on. ever smoked crack out of a soda can? No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Out of a soda can? That's how they did it. I lived in North Carolina for a little while, and all the rich kids, that's how they would do it. 
Okay. Just kidding, Mom. <laughs> yeah, your parents watch it. <laughs> they watch it on the big screen, huh? Who well, I'm paying for, so I don't hear what they hear. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Foley? What do I got? I would like to know. I so said we got the email address. Let me ask you this. Do you think, okay, just to get a sense of you here, do you wash your hair before or after, or bef- at the beginning or the end of the shower? Hmm. I realize this tells a lot about a person. Beginning, because then you use the excess suds to help wash the rest of you, and they kind of go down you. Okay. Some people would say that's not the correct reason, but the correct answer. They would say that- What's you... your reasoning? Huh? What, yeah, what do, you, what do you- People say you should do it before, because that's all the, all the- If you do it after, then you just clean your whole body, and ah. now your dirty hair's running down. Okay. I do it after, but- Because <laughs> I'm a real piece of trash. <laughs> what do you do? It depends. Well, as you know, I'm fighting male <laughs> pattern baldness, so I I have to let my shampoo sit for a little bit. <laughs> um, so I put it in, and then I leave do, in situation. And then I, <laughs> yeah, it's a little medicinal. So I, 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 I gotta wait. I gotta wait till it starts burning before I take it out. Um, so I put it in, do the rest of the body with a bar of soap, no dish, no no rag, like uh, a gentleman. Okay, you know, and then I wash out the hair. Huh. Plus, I like the smell of it because that's the last thing that sticks, you know. Interesting. When do you, when, if ever, do you wash the bottom of your feet? Only if there's an issue. <laughs> Same. I don't think I've ever washed the bottom of my. <laughs> yeah, feet. I would. I would have to have stepped in something or had some kind of laceration <laughs> or rash <laughs> or something on my foot to even get down there, dude. I, this was like a shameful thing. I was at. We were at a comedy club. I stop at the knee. <laughs> oh yeah, unless I was like you know fucking yeah. pond or. Yeah. Pond. Um, <laughs> stop at the knee. That's I was. It. You got to realize Foley and I have temporary relationships with our feet. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get too attached. <laughs> <laughs> the bee trees might come and take one of them, Jones. I try to keep him out of my mind. <laughs> like, get, I don't know him. Don't get to treat him like a distant relative. <laughs> Your feet have name tags on them, Foley's foot. Um, I was in mixed company, and they were all talking. They were like, yeah, so I... I they're like, people every day, right in if you do this, wash the bottom of their feet. Like, hmm. lift their foot up, soap and cloth, or loofah, whatever. I got to tell you, I haven't washed the bottom of my feet, I don't think, in fucking... I don't think ever. That sounds like a recipe for slipping, too. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's dangerous. Trying to catch a, a slip and fall somewhere. That's a fucking hazard. <laughs> Slip on some conditioner, you're fucking screwed. Did you have any pets growing up? Yeah. Uh, you, I peg you as a weird pet guy. Oh. Oh. Dogs I got money in, on it. Dogs in the shop, but they were shop dogs. Didn't Ooh, come upstairs. I oh. love a shop dog. That's cool. Uh, Until you pet them, and you're like, Ugh. well, they're not pet. They're shop yeah, dogs. Yeah. Were they? Were they mean? <laughs> no, they were nice. Golden Retriever. What? As a shop dog? Yeah, and then hmm, uh, named smart. Bippy. Who? Her name was Bippy. Okay. Bippy. And then after Bippy, we got Veruca, who was a uh, uh, Labrador. Huh. Sounds like a Russian immigrant. Yeah, or the lead singer of a band. <laughs> Um, named after Veruca from uh, Willy Wonka. Oh, oh very nice. And did I have anything in the house? I had, when I was really little, like hermit crab, top hermit crabs trash. Hermit crabs are trash. The dude. most, the utmost. I had one that lived for like fucking five years, man. I couldn't kill the <laughs> thing. <laughs> the fuck? I swear to God, I couldn't kill him. And then a uh, snake and a lizard. Snake and you, I, and I pegged you as a reptilian If you didn't have a guy. snake and a yeah. lizard, and I would think something was fucking fishy. Snake got out and never found it. Wow. Dude, I had it. My cousin gave me a snake for my, like, fucking eighth birthday, and it climbed. It That's had, real trash. Yeah, man. We're, we're trash. It had babies, and they they were, like, tiny little, they looked like little fucking sperm, and they climbed up out of the cage. And my mom came down in the morning. There was, like, fucking 500 of these little worms all over. We were all over the house. We were finding them for, like, six weeks. <laughs> I'm out. I'll tell you that, right? I would have moved. There's no fucking way I would have stayed in that house. We couldn't. We were upside down in the house. <laughs> <laughs> snakes or no snakes, we couldn't get out. We're Morgan's the eyeballs over here. <laughs> I think she refired a couple of times. Oh, my God. All right. Family, you're at uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. Do you guys put out ketchup at Thanksgiving? No. Okay. Good answer. There Good you answer. go. And you see, you mentioned your, your grandmother and grandfather a lot. So your mother's, I assume that's your mother's side of the family? Yeah, mother's side of the family. Very close. Very close. So you do everything with them. Yeah, I stayed with them on the weekends pretty much all through growing up. Wow. They lived in North Bergen, which was like one town over. Even how old were you doing this till? Probably like right around almost high school. Really? I spent now, was Saturdays. that a necessity or I like hanging out with grandma and grandpa? I just liked it over there. 
No shit. And I think it was to get my parents a he night had, off. He had doors over there. Yeah, I did have a door over there. <laughs> pull, pull it in peace. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Grandpa takes the hearings. The hearing aids out. I get as loud as I want. <clears throat> did you have another set of friends over there? No. Because that's real trashy. No, I did not. Because I had that at my at my aunt's house. Because my aunt would babysit me during the day, and they lived in another neighborhood. And I had a couple of fucking dirt bike friends that knew me over there, too. Yeah, where you would come around every now and then. Yeah, the kid that came around every now <laughs> and then. If you were the kid that came around every now and then, you were bad fucking news. <laughs> no, opposite, man. Uh, compl- my family was so nervous about anything. Like, people, le- like, uh, the reason my grandma told me they never got a pool mm-hmm. was because she was afraid that if they went on vacation, people would break in. Mm hmm. Swim in the pool, mm-hmm. drown, and then sue her. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. I remember real being free like, spirit. She I'm talking like, like <laughs> 15, 16 years old, staying at my grandma's for the night, and I go to like six o'clock at night. Go to be like, hey, I'm gonna go take a walk. I'll be back in a little while. And my grandma blocking the door with her body, Jeez. and saying, "What if there's kids out there who are up to no good, and you get involved?" Huh? I was not. Dude, Get I involved like what? Like I a, was not allowed like out. A crime unless, stopper, or you start. I was not allowed out as a kid unless I had a destination, and it was people. My pet, like if I wanted to go to somebody's house when I was a kid, it was two weeks notice. What? what? Wait, from your mom too? Yeah. So they all had this fear. Yes. Are they Irish? No, German. They're garbage. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks notice to go to somebody's house. What? And my what mom is had a field to trip? see. The, what the and my mom had on? to see their house first. Wow, that's real. That's no wonder why you're an inside kid. Strong yeah. parenting, yeah. That's crazy. so you didn't have a lot of friends growing up in high school. I mean, you had people at school, but you know. So yeah, what was like the sleepover situation? Very rare. What? Wow, dude, I think in who's high gonna sc- sleep at my house? I don't have fucking doors. It's true, <laughs> can't get up to no good without any doors. <laughs> high school sleepovers got a little weird. <laughs> yeah, none of that shit. <laughs> well, we needed doors while we were doing. <laughs> Just to keep anybody from asking questions. Give me some, give me some lime wire and a door. I'll, I'll be in the guest room if you need me. <laughs> Holy shit, Zach. None of that shit. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, man. That's like fucking did they like what 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 caused that, do you think? Just did they have they did, did your mom have any brothers and sisters? My mom had a brother and a sister. No, were they so did they have passed kids? uh her sisters? Uh my aunt and uncle live in the house with my grandma now. Okay, did they have kids? Nope. So you were the only kid. There was no cousins? Uh, my, I have eight cousins on my dad's side. But you don't fuck with them. But, yeah, I didn't really see them very much after wow. I, I was a certain age. I got a All question. Right, so Where I, did I this, see this a little bit When now. did this aesthetic come into play for you? Like, the ta- like, when, like was this always, or is this, like, kind of when you got out on your own? You're like, I'm getting the tattoos, the hair, the glint, like, would they, have let, would they have let you get tattoos? That, that's my question. No. Is like, is really? this like a? I got a broke mohawk free? towards the end of high school, and that was like you a fucking big out. deal. Wow. And yeah, I've always like, I've always kind of wanted that look. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And yeah, you I just went, couldn't. Have I went it. ape shit when I went to college. I'd I'm imagine. talking purple hair, ten piercings. Of course, yeah, that's what happens. Dude, and, I had a buddy that grew up same. Yeah. He wasn't allowed to do anything ever. We don't be like, oh, we're sleeping here, party. And he's like, I can't, I gotta go home. I went to college and fuck. Next thing you know, he's like, fucking, he's all on like oxys and shit. He's robbing banks. That's yeah. what happens when those kids are pent up. Yeah, so I like... went nuts. And then eventually it just became like this lazy white trash punk rock kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Did your mom cook growing up? Not well. <laughs> what was the snack situation? Fritos and bean dip. Oh. The canned bean dip? Canned bean dip. Ooh. Would Frito. you make it or she would make it? Oh, there was no, I was not allowed in the, I was not allowed in the kitchen area. Your mom would make you Fritos and bean dip? What do you mean? Like, what if she was at work, you couldn't go and get a snack? Throw she on would leave me something, something out. And then the rule, even when my dad still You're was like with You're like a POW. Us. Dude, no, my dad was still with Sliding us. a plate. <laughs> if my mom wasn't home. Under the no door. All meals were to be eaten over the sink or a garbage can. What the fuck? Yeah. I... <laughs> Do you think this, let me ask this, do you think this fucked you up a little bit? Yeah, I'm a fucking slob now. Okay. Yeah. And I can't control it. Letting it all hang out. There you I'm go. I'm disgusting, and that is 100% why. 
Bean dip's pretty good, though. I'll yeah. tell you that. It's trash, but it's pretty. You heat that up, a little bit of fucking cheddar cheese on it. We've it. talked about some of the. We, uh, when we did uh, Realize Podcast, I talked about my mom's hot cha cha chicken. Oh, oh yeah. Did. It was like it was salsa. Go it over that again. Cheddar. For the R U yeah. garbage listener, yeah. Zach. In case we have any home cooks out there. <laughs> if we have any foodies looking it, for a new recipe, the R U garbage a jar cookbook. of salsa oh. on top of a chicken baked in the oven, served over Tostitos. It was the sour opposite. cream? Sometimes, yeah. Guacamole? No, that's a little too exotic. What are they, Mexican? What is... Guacamole? Okay. You and never had guacamole it, as a kid? I've was, never had fucking cha-cha-cha chicken, no. <laughs> it was... Dude, my, my dad called me the other day, and we were talking about something, and he told me that his girlfriend made uh, London broil, and he got mad about it. And he was like, throw and he was, And then I was like, but then you had it. How was it? He goes... He goes, do you know London broil's good? I went, yeah. Yeah. It's like not bad. He goes, I always thought it was like this gray, tasteless meat from no. growing up. London broil, that was that's trash filet mignon. But that's how you, your mom would make it, it would be trash. I mean, no, my family's food was like the meme of what white people eat. Sure. Real the last time we had dinner <laughs> with my mom, and my grandma, my mother warned the rest of the table, and I'm not fucking with you guys. Watch out. The creamy Italian dressing's real spicy. The fuck does that What? Mean? We had creamy Italian, like from the bottle, creamy Italian dressing. Yeah. Mom goes, watch out. It's, it's spicy. spicy. It's got a real kick in it. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that That's my family's idea of like spicy ethnic food. <laughs> as, Paul, as fucking Newman's yeah, fucking Newman's Caesar own dressing. Fucking creamy Italian. This ranch has got a kick to it. Watch out. Wow. Holy shit. What now, would takeout be? Like, where would you get to? Would you do takeout? We do um, usually pizza. What kind? Like, local places? Yeah, like local. Domino's? Oh, or, never yeah. Domino's. Okay. No, local. Yeah, like, Jersey. Real Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, sometimes Chinese. And then there was a place a block and a half away called the Land and Sea Grill. Mm. And that was a big one. That was like burgers and dogs. Ooh, I can get down with a Land and Sea Grill. Yeah, I hear you. This is a wild tale. Yeah, man. man. Wow. I'm like, I'm like I thought I stunned. When we did it on Real Ass Podcast, you blew my mind. Yes. I was like, I was not expecting any of any of those answers. And now I came into it with that mindset of like, yeah. he's clean living. He's, now I don't know what the fuck. That this is. Have you ever asked exactly. your Have you ever asked your mom like, yo, why were you like that or why? No, because she's better now, so I don't want to bring it up. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So she's not like fun. that anymore. Now, we now go to your house blessed. right now. She letting me in. She's letting you in before I'm in. Interesting. I brought when I moved to Brooklyn. Okay, twelve years ago, I had roaches and made the mistake of telling my family that oh, I was dealing yeah. with that. She still brings it up, probably. To this day, yeah. if I have a backpack on, my mom goes, "Leave it downstairs." And I go, "Why?" She goes, "What if you got bugs in it? I don't want you bringing it to my <laughs> fucking house." I'll, g- I'll give her that one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Been able to sit on my mother's couch since high school. What? Because I had a pair of pants on with like buttons on the back, and one of them popped a little hole in her leather couch. And to this day, if I try to sit on the couch at my mom's house from another room, she'll just come screaming, What the hell kind of pants you got on? Holy, Holy shit. shit. She runs a tight fucking ship. So this now, way. has this affected you? Uh, I mean, obviously it's affected you, but how you, because you're married now. Yeah. How you guys operate your household? I'm told I say sorry a lot, that I immediately apologize. Oh, for I do that too. I do it all the time. But yeah. I think that's just crowd control. But like, yes, that's because my dad was a fucking <laughs> lunatic, yeah. and he would fly off the hinge at any given minute. So you apologize for. Didn't want to take a backhand with the rings on. <laughs> you no, know, my problem is I um I I get panic attacks when it's like time to clean. Like if the vacuum's going or anything, okay, I get nervous. You're like, he's You're like, like a, a dog. Yeah, yeah, he's like a de- he's like a lab. <laughs> <laughs> like I get panic attacky when it, if, if my wife's like cleaning, and she'd be like, "Why? What's wrong? He's, you don't he's have to barking do at the blender." <laughs> 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 Just because it was always like a high pressure situation. Of course, ah, dude. I had the exact opposite. I hear a vacuum cleaner. I want to fall asleep. I used to follow my mom around the house when she had this vacuum cleaner that had like the. <laughs> Has like the other part of it, and then a hose, and then the, mm-hmm. the the thing. And I would lay right behind the back of the exhaust, waiting for crumbs. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to beat the crumbs. He was trying to beat it for crumbs. It was like a John Henry situation. <laughs> no, the warm air blowing on me. I would lay my head down and take a little nap. I mean, dude, you are another kind of fucked up. <laughs> I don't know, man. That is fucking insane. 
But wow. do you guys cook? Do you, are you guys more? Are you more homey? More inviting? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, like you're not. You're not still eating over the fucking sink and. No, no, we do um, meal prep plans now. Pretty good. Okay. That's clean can living. I be, can I be with you? Honest with you, yeah, hit it's it. Fucking Please. great. Yeah, living in Brooklyn, like you don't like. I don't live near a good grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's like 10, 12 blocks if I want to go to like a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And dude, fucking those those uh, we're doing Sun Basket right now. Is that the that gets delivered? Yeah, everything comes to the house. It's real fucking nice. Get and it's this. not bad. That's money, though. That's a little bit of cash. That is a little bit of cash. Yeah. And a very far cry from your situation growing up. Yeah. Whew. Man. Mm, okay, okay. So I guess there wasn't like, uh, what was what would, what would your typical lunch be? What would your mom send you to school with? Bologna and cheese pickles. Pickles? Oh. Bologna and cheese with pickles. <laughs> pickles and mustard. Oh, you in vocational Bolo school? What? Pickles. <laughs> Bologna and cheese with pickles and mustard. Um, Is this all on the sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pickle, pickle chips. What? P you ever get a pickle? <laughs> if my mom, I would fucking, I'd call CPS if she <laughs> sent me to school with a fucking pickle. That's crazy. Maybe on the side. Bologna and cheese when I was a kid, kid, Lunchables. Wow, Lunchables, Lunchables is finally. Good. I know, but we've never really met anybody. We've Who talked. Got we talk about Lunchables a lot, and we've never actually met anybody that got them on a steady basis. A very steady basis, especially mm. once they brought out the Lunchable nachos. Those nachos were terrible, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was a frequent. frequent they were the little school. chips, right? Well, yeah, like the little, little round chips. It was like the size of a dime. Yeah, my buddy Pat would get those all the time. Terrible. Now, I imagine that was a pretty big temptation for you, having those stacked up in the fridge, but I you weren't allowed to go near them, were you? No, not allowed near anything. Not allowed to bring food from, like, if I had leftovers from a restaurant, mm -hmm. and I didn't tell my mom, and I put it in the fridge, that would be like a meltdown. Like, no putting anything new in the fridge. Everything was very controlled. What the fuck? There might be a bit of OCD. A bit? You think? Jesus I think nah. Christ. That's insane. Dude, if I couldn't go into my fridge yeah. and fucking root around and drink from the container. See, so you weren't allowed to drink from the container. <laughs> drink from the toilet? Oh, God, no. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you. So I used to in my living DJ. room next to the TV was, I don't know what it was. It was just a hole in the carpeting, and I never knew what it was. But whenever my mom would go in the shower, I would go run and try to sneak a snack, like a granola bar, anything. And then if my mom was getting out of the shower and I wasn't done with it yet, there was just a hole in the living room, and I would... Shove it down the hole. And I found out that it would went into, of course, because we were the second floor. <laughs> it was above my dad's shop. And one day there was a storm. And the thing got wet and the thing collapsed. Uh, and just years of half-eaten Kudos snacks. bars and yeah, shit. Literally, kudos <laughs> bars, popcorn, pop secret bars just came flooding into my dad's what shop. What the fuck? <laughs> it's got the TIG welder on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's raining gushers. What the fuck's going on? From years of his fat son sneaking <laughs> snacks and freaking oh, out. Zach, that's sad, man. That sucks. Or even just the wrapper because I couldn't put the wrapper in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, because that's- You got to yeah, get rid of the evidence. trace evidence. Dude, that's like the great sand. Teeny. That's fucking. That's, that's a complete. I do. Uh, my house was fucking wide what? open. Come my mom. On. My mom would buy those like variety packs, like the twenty four packs, of, like Pringle or like the uh, Lays, like Doritos yeah. and shit like coming. that. And she would try to hide them where the pots and pans were. I'm like, you dumb broad. I see that coming right. from a mile away. Question. You got to put them under your bed or You think something. I'm going to stop at yeah. the pantry? Yeah. yeah. You, you, on think, a mission. you think I'm not going to, you think I'm just going to check the pantry and keep it moving? Yeah. When you guys were I'm growing up. I'm in the up, attic. I'm in the basement. And yeah. you had a bag of, like a big bag of chips for the family. Sure. Were you allowed to eat from the bag? Or did it have to go in a bowl with a paper towel in it? We were a bag. We would do the paper towel. If company was over, yeah. you would do that. But yeah, you pour from it into the bag. A, you pour it into a container. Okay. We're but still no. from the bag. We had, yeah, we ate out of it, too. I, was like, I could have fucking put them on my nuts. You wouldn't have cared. <laughs> yeah. It was wide open at the Foley. But we used to use the clips. Okay, Remember when yeah. the clips first came out? The chip yeah. clips? Yeah. Yeah. But they're all, they're like, they're, they're few and far between. <laughs> There was only like one of them. We had five bags of chips, so we'd have to like wrap a rubber band <laughs> around it or a clothespin so or something. So there was none of that. None of that shit. Would there be a bag of chips in the house? There would be a bag of chips, but it was ask, goes in a bowl with a paper towel. And my the place was spotless. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. See, the thing I, I don't like about, about the bowl that. is that you're limited. Yeah. Right, right, that was the have point. Four this guy's living in a Nazi regime. What do you <laughs> yeah. mean? This guy's behind enemy lines. Oh no shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, believe Fucking it or not, when I got to college and then on my own, 
absolute disaster. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I don't Being in New that. York with a fucking stone's throw away from a yeah. bodega and a fucking chopped cheese and a fucking Arizona iced tea. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. One of the... <laughs> my, I literally, the first date I had with my wife, I got her to come back home with me, and I had to throw out three Gatorades full of piss. Jesus Ooh. Christ. That was in my... Just Gatorade bottles full of piss that were in my room. That I hadn't touched. I live with somebody that did that. And when you would leave it in there for a long time. It ferments. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. God. That smell. That's God. tough. Damn. That is fucking wild. You getting all this? <laughs> Holy shit. Did you know any of this, Dylan? I, I, I did not. <laughs> you, I, I'm on a show understand. with Luis Gomez. He's never heard me speak before. It's true. <laughs> Wait, uh, Dylan's far, puking in the in the How far room. was the bathroom? Why do you, what's the? Because uh, I, I lived with a bunch of roommates at the time, and they lived with their chicks, so the bathroom was always fucking occupied at that time. So I always just would just get convenience? up and first try if there was somebody in there. I'm pissing in the Gatorade bottle. I have done that a couple times when I lived in Queens. A couple of times, yeah. I know, but when you're, you're stuck on up, the turnpike. <laughs> no, I mean I've done it. I've done it in my apartment when you're like hemmed up. There's people in the bathroom, and I got you can't hold your little winky until. <laughs> well, if I'm like trying to go back to bed, or I hear like one of the fucking goobers got in the shower ah, or something. That's the, when you got to piss in the middle of the night, that sucks. Yeah. No, I get it. Because you never have to kind of piss in the middle of the night. Yeah, no. it's not like oh I can wait. It's yeah, it's fucking game time. Boner going. Middle of the night, you're stumbling around, stop and get a snack. <clears throat> All right. Um, this is fucking nuts. Jesus Christ. When you guys, did you do like family vacations? Yeah. Where, did you ever, did you ever go to a wax museum? Where like would you guys one? hide out together? <laughs> so yeah. Go to a motel. Um, hide under what floorboards did you hang out? <laughs> <laughs> the vacations I remember, well. Remember? What do you mean? You block I mean, some out? No, the, the ones that like stick out as like really good ones. Okay. Uh, Alaskan Cruise. Alaska what? classy this cruise. This fucking guy's crazy. all over you. Yeah. I know, I Dude, I, this is That's nuts. a rough, rough combination of words, though. Alaskan cruise. That's what I'm saying. But Alaska's nice, beautiful, yeah. very wilderness. Yes. You're in touch with things. Yeah, we did two it's cruises. It's far as shit to get there, so it's a little bit of cash. Now, who are we talking about on this trip? Did your grandma and grandpa go with you? Uh, my grandpa passed away when I was in, like, third, fourth grade. Oh. But grandma would come to everything after of that. Of course. All right. And that also explains maybe your grandmother's... Over yeah. overprotectiveness yes. there. Okay. Um, so two cruises. One was Alaska. One was like Florida area. And this is when your parents were still together. Yes. So would they when they would go on these cruises? Could you like? Was it different than the house? Like, could you eat whatever you want? Would they have drinks and mix and mingle with other no, people? No, my dad's been everything? sober my whole life. Uh, and would not, they interact not, with other people though? Fifty fifty. We would do, what we do. They would take my grandma, and a lot of times my mom and dad would go do shit. And me and grandma would be out for the day on vacation. Mm. So, like, she went on vacation, but she was pretty much saddled with me. Hmm. That's not bad. That's pretty fun. I'll give you that. Can I tell you, best vacation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay it <laughs> on us. <laughs> You're going to, this This is such a good vacation. Dude, I, I legitimately want to go back. All right. Uh, the biggest mall in the world in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Sick. It's a city, it's got an amusement park. A full water park with a uh, wave pool. Two Aunt Annie's pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like an uh, indoor lake with a pirate ship. It's a city. Okay. It's and trash it, is what it is. That's perfect. It's fucking, fucking garbage. garbage. Three city. different like movie complexes. We went for a week. Never to the left mall? the mall. <laughs> Never left the you mall. You went to the mall for a fucking There's week? a hotel in the mall. That's I a lot, don't care. That's a lot of walk and roll, I'll tell you that. Dude. You, you must have been cleaning great. up on the samples. Even if I go to Orlando, I walk around downtown a little bit. You don't stay at Disney for it that long. It was the best vacation Was of it my life. actually you stayed in the mall? You lived in the mall. There's, there's apartment complexes in it for the people that work there. You can't walk the thing in a day. Are you from the future or something <laughs> like that? This sounds like a dystopian. It was, dude. It was literally like it was the middle of winter. We went to Canada for it. So outside is like fucking Hoff, right? Okay. And you're inside, perfect, like seventy six everywhere you go. He's, he's he's got fucking suntan lotion, zinc on his nose. Dude. It's great, dude. Hitting it was pool. the best. Holy shit! When was the last time you were at a water park? Was that it? No, I think I did one. Probably 10 years ago. Shirt on, shirt off. Shirt off. 
Share it off. Yeah, I don't he, I don't, he doesn't. Uh, Zach doesn't pay me one for qualms. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> I wore my shirt in the pool once in like fifth grade and took it off halfway through because I thought it was it was lamer to be a guy with a shirt on in the 100%. pool than to be a fat guy at a pool. Of course, hundred percent. Man, this is a fucking damn. How do your parents know about the, the mall city to go we on? We saw vacation? it on TV on like the Travel Channel. Who that are some, your parents? That is some <laughs> dirtbag shit. If my mom ever tried to take me to a fucking mall for a week, I mean, I could see it. I, 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 it sounds pretty cool, but just the whole to know about it. That's like a place you come across when you're on your way somewhere else. Oh, it's stopping here. Holy shit! There's fucking there's a lake in the middle of this in the middle of this Boscovs. Dude, it was fucking wild. Damn. Man, oh also, man. if you have to take a passport to go to the fucking mall, <laughs> that's fucking gar. You're going to another country. You go to fucking anywhere. Toronto, fucking every, anywhere you want to go. How do you feel? Hit the mall. All this, this is all created to Zach Amico that we all know and love, right? Yeah, I, I always feel like even the things I regret probably wouldn't be me without them. So, oh, of course, it's all built towards. Of this. course, of course. Man, this is like a fucking are you garbage? You said this would be a thing. And I, I, yeah, 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 did some crazy shit. This, that, the other. What was the thing you told me about living in a motel for a year or a hotel for a year? Oh no, the funeral home. You lived in a funeral home. Funeral home. Yeah. So the um, first big movie I worked on was actually two movies. We shot them back to back. They're called Return to Newcom High One and Two, and they were a sequel to an '80s movie called The Class of Newcom High. And we went out and we needed to find. Uh, and I was like the first wave of people that went out. We shot it in uh, Niagara Falls, New York, which is a shithole. Dude, Niagara is charming. You went on vacation at a mall. How yeah. bad can Niagara Falls yeah, be? Yeah, it's like the south of France. We needed <laughs> a city that looked like it had already been destroyed, <laughs> and we had to do no art direction. Mm -hmm. And me, the producer, and his assistant go out, and like the film commission's kind of working with us, trying to help us find a space, and we needed an office for the movie, a living situation for 80 people and a special effects studio. And this real estate agent in the town wanted to be a movie producer. Mm -hmm. And he was like this big Dr. Phil. It's a big type. market up there right here. <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted to get into film. And they actually shoot a lot of movies in Buffalo now. Um, and he's like, I got the perfect place for you. And it was an abandoned funeral home. The fuck? Huge. And we turned the top half into our living space. And our turned? Office. Defined turned. Like remote <laughs> contract. We gutted it. No, we gutted it. Jesus. Threw everything out. So you scraped up you... the floors, repainted everything, got a um certificate of occupancy uh -huh. for I think like twenty people. And then we had eighty people move in. I like how we whispered that, like that was gonna be the thing yeah. that breaks it open. <laughs> yeah. And um, oh, this guy's real trash, breaking the <laughs> occupancy level. <laughs> At, well, dude, we were sleeping elbow to asshole. Oh, I, mean, I can imagine. You, you wouldn't have done all this if it wasn't for how you grew up. You agree no, with that, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, if you went to like private school, like a good, you know, like parents yeah. that stayed together. If you knew the, if, if you, you could the... go get a granola bar without <laughs> getting your fucking face slapped. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Yeah, and then we had the special effects workshop downstairs because it had a morgue of with course. drains in the floor. So that's where we did all the special effects because anything got on the floor, it just drained right up. Talk about the heebie jeebies. Yikes. <laughs> and we liked nuts. it so much that we went to the work on another. Corona's going to get you. We went to work on another movie for another company and we called the guy and rented the funeral home again Jesus for just 20 of us because we missed it. Because you missed it. Because it was like camp, dude. It was so fun. Man, I gotta have a fucking smoke after this. <laughs> I need to take a walk around the block. I don't know. I can't get a read on this fucking guy. <laughs> The mall, the fucking, you know, sneaking kudos. It's a lot. When's the last time you used a Coinstar machine? <laughs> See, there you go. How weird is I, that? Oh, um, I would have guessed today. <laughs> no, uh, I want to say probably six, seven years ago. Um, Was it for cash or just because you had some change laying around? I needed money. Yeah. Did you need money for the morgue? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> needed money. I needed a new urn. Yeah, I definitely needed money, and I, there was one a few blocks away from me, mm -hmm. and I did the coin star. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, have you ever been to a Red Lobster? <laughs> yeah. He yeah. lived in the Adams family yeah. house. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Who yeah. gives a shit? He dated Wednesday for a couple of years. <laughs> 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 Took her there to the Red Lobster. I tell you what, you say what you want about Red Lobster, but when you got a fucking cheddar biscuit sitting in front of you, 
You don't have a care I mean, in the world. There's no better place for a community college graduation party. <laughs> oh, that's real trashy. Uh-huh. Okay. Red Lobster. Holy shit. Same parent company as Olive Garden. Ah, yes, so of did, course. Did the discount <laughs> overlap? <laughs> yes. Because like, I used to work at Macy's, and I could go to Bloomingdale's and get 10% too. What, your beak over there a little <laughs> yeah. bit? Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, let's do some of the some of the standards. Uh, Go ahead. Would you have, uh, as a kid, you're sat down for dinner, would you have milk with dinner? No. Okay, good He answer. wouldn't get dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, where would you keep the ketchup after it was opened, as Fridge. a kid and now? Fridge. 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 Okay. Do you currently have any ketchup packets in your refrigerator right now? 100%. Oh, that mm. is garbage. Duck sauce, hot mustard. Yeah, all in one plastic bag. Oh, mm-hmm. That's real garbage shit. Real, yeah. You're trying to ke- include and some KFC finger looking good sauce. Ugh. What about the wipes? You got the wipes in there too, little no. lemon wipes. No, but there are some currently on my uh, coffee table because we had wings last week. I used to want to eat those when I was a kid. They smelled so good. The lemon wipes, you know, things you wipe your little fingers with. Yeah, that was a big deal. You know what I wanted to talk to you about? You're a fan of the uh, pre-sliced pepperoni uh, from the company Hormel, correct? <laughs> I'm familiar. <laughs> they put the thing. In, what? What's the th- Preservative packet they put in that. Yeah, they, they do that with electronics. That's yeah. Same things in uh, beef jerky. Yeah. What is it? It's some kind of. I thought it was air freshener or something. Like that. <laughs> I, swear to... I put it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's good in coffee. <laughs> <laughs> put that in a cup of tea. I don't. It does something. I almost. Ate, it's so weird. You said I almost ate one like two days ago because <laughs> I mean... I'm, I'm on the keto and I've been fucking crushing pepperoni slices. <laughs> Crushing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to do it, pal. <laughs> Ketchup in the fridge, maple syrup in the cabinet. Yeah. Right? Man, it's hard to get a read on this. I'm a big I... hot sauce guy. Right. I just ordered a six-pack of uh, Cholu- of all the different Cholulas, but I love, I love me some hot sauce. I probably have eight different hot sauces in the fridge right now. Mm. What was the cable situation growing up? <laughs> what would your mom get you? Comcast. Um, Did you have any full pre-mail? No, H- no, no HBO or anything like that. They were tight with a buck. Yeah, yeah, just regular cable. And then uh, I don't have cable now. I just have uh, yeah, apps. smart shit. Yeah, a, yeah. Well, did you have free range at the TV, the remote? Watch this, watch that, whatever you want. Or was that restricted too? Uh, it depended. If I was, it was during the day and no one was watching. My mom had soaps in the middle of the day. So it was by the cover of night. Yeah. Oh no, no TV at night. Free- no what? doors. Jeez, no doors. So you couldn't watch TV. No. No TV. No A team. No. No fucking... after. I mean. I mean after A-team? my parents He's were not in... fifty. Yeah. After <laughs> my, my dad parents... would watch A team. <laughs> He's my age. Yeah. If my mom was ready for bed, no TV. That shit was out. Oh, this no doors. Sucks. Um. So... And lights out. Can't can't keep my lights on and read because. The light would keep That's my mom on because there's no doors. Uh, lights out. That was like military shit to me. If my mom tried to pull some lights out business, yeah. hit the fucking brick. I can't believe you have you didn't shoot up that mall when you went <laughs> on vacation. Know. I'll be honest with you. Man, talk about a... Whew. Something else. A very special episode of Are You Garbage? Oh, man. I think I'm done. Yeah. I did have one, but I mean, who even cares at this point? Have you ever sold anything at a flea market? <laughs> Sold? No. My this guy aunt, was in the Branch yeah. Davidian. What are you talking about? When I was a kid, my aunt's best friend, Lori, ran up to my, and I remember this so clearly, ran up to my aunt at the flea market to say how cheap the condoms were. Oh, my and God. And she was buying boxes of condoms from not even a table at the flea market. Mm-hmm. You know the side part of the flea market where it's just cardboard boxes on the ground sure. and everything's a buck? The guy who couldn't get a table, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was buying condoms from him. And I remember her having a kid the next year. Of course, dude. What was her name again? <laughs> Drop that down. <laughs> She's still single? What's going on? Holy and shit. And easy. I like it. Zach Amico. Kevin. Thoughts? Headache. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> garbage? Yeah, for sure. Garbage. I mean, he's got... <sighs> Should be another word for it. <laughs> I know. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't I, have it. I, I Refuse. Yeah. Refuse. I can't believe... I can't believe you're not weirder. I'm not going to lie. Not that you are weird, but I'm just saying, like I said, I can't... can't... I th- yeah, Sorry. Fucking mind's blown. I know. I think you like you had a good base, right? You had a good base for like maybe let's call it I don't know ten years or so, or something, and then 
shit went haywire a yeah, little bit. That's right? fair. That's very you know, fair. and like yeah, because all the stuff with your parents, other than the weird vacations, that training should have led you to not be garbage, right? Like it was fucked up when you were experiencing, but you know, you think you were super neat, super tidy, super this, super that. Yeah, dad was a business owner, real estate, ba 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 ba. What you know? Do you think you're garbage? I think I have garbage tendencies. Okay. But, Ooh. you know. Yeah, we all not do. Not in the way that, I mean, in the way that, like, you know, I love Gigi Allen. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two. <laughs> Fuck it, Gigi Allen. There's two. That's from, like, a skate video from, like, the that's early 2000s. Awesome. Um, there's two. You can have two completely separate Zach Amico stories. It could be Zach Amico, NYU grad, mm-hmm. works in fucking movie production. Right. Fucking, you know, all this shit. And then you could just have, like, the fucking sneaking snacks and hiding them in a hole in the living room. I don't fucking know. And then getting caught for it. Yeah, going to the mall. Couldn't even pull the caper off. No doors, cruise in Alaska. The Alaskan cruise. What, were you on the Cornelia Marie? you to this. (laughs) He was on a fucking crab fishing boat. (laughs) (laughs) He was a a greenhorn. This guy's whale hunting in the fucking... No, that was college. I don't know. (laughs) Oh. Holy shit. Zach Amico, 100% garbage. But like you said, garbage tendencies. A very fucking interesting tale. And I don't know if anybody knew that whole backstory, but that was, that was fucking something else. Thank you. I feel like much, we just Travis. got like a 15 hour deposition. <laughs> <laughs> I got to call my fucking wife. I don't know what's going on. Is there anything you want the folks out there to know that they might not? Uh, yeah, just check me out on Instagram at Zach is not funny. Uh, check out my show, Zach Amico's Midnight Spook Show, every Friday at midnight here on Gas and Catalyst Wrestling, 11 a.m. on Saturdays here on Gas. And uh, if anybody's in the Pennsylvania area, I will be <laughs> in um, the Mahoning Drive In Theater on August 7th and 8th for two full days of trauma movies, where I'll be hosting, doing a live podcast. And uh, hanging out for, I think, two straight days watching movies. Should be really fun. Nice. Very nice. Kippy, what do you got? Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Also, guys, the support of this podcast has been fucking awesome. Unbelievable. I mean, it's 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 wild. All the fucking Real Ass Podcast fans, all the fucking Legion of Skanks fans, mm-hmm. you got all the everybody from the Gas Digital family has been fucking awesome. Uh, as like I said, we are currently still in the top 200. We want to keep moving up, so please rate, review, subscribe, share with a friend. Also, full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And guys, uh, shout out to everybody that did do reviews this week for the Belly Flop video. It's been so fun going back and forth with you guys, and uh, we love yous, and we will uh, we'll see you next time. Are you garbage? Peace!